This is the second part of simulating the crowd size in the protest that happened on March 15, 2025. So if you haven't watched the first video, I would strongly recommend you to watch it because I do not want to go over the technicalities again in this one. But before we start with the number crunching and simulation, there are a few things that I have to clarify first. The first video that I made was a pilot where I can take the feedback critiques, suggestions, and stuff like that, right? After three days or four days of working, I am finally ready to record this video. The next point that I want to make is that the protest lasted whole day, from noon all the way to the evening, right? It was cold, it was rainy. Usually, when people are attending the protest, they are sticking around there around like, what, six hours? Because people are hungry, people are thirsty. And sadly, I cannot provide you the total amount of the people. But whatever the number we get, it is probably at least 50% higher, right? At least 50% higher. Most of the people that did attend the protest are saying that the biggest amount of the people were in between 5 to 6 p.m. Sadly, there is not enough of the footage at that time from different parts of Belgrade. There are pictures and there are videos from here and there, but not enough to create a simulation around that time. With that said, the most footage, the most videos and the pictures that I did see during the protest in March 15th was in the evening, right? In this video, in this simulation, in this calculation, all of the numbers are based around nighttime footage only. Because it is not fair to calculate into the same number people that were on Brankov Most in 5 p.m. In the same number, you also add people from Slavia that were there in 9 p.m. It's not fair. There is a lot of comments that are claiming that people in Slavia were densely packed. And by densely packed, I mean six people per square meter. I went in the insane rabbit hole in regards to the crowd count and how it works. So this right here is how five people per square meter look like. Does this look to you like five people per square meter? Not really, right? It's more of a three and a half people per square meter. I got a lot of critiques how the average size of the Serbs is not 1.75, it is 1.8 or 2 meters. You can ask ChatGPT, you can ask DeepSeek, you can ask Google, you can ask whoever. It's really not that hard to Google. The average size of a man is 1.8, the average size of the woman is 165. On the average is 175. Is that simple? Male, female, averaged out 175. As I already said, the simulation that I'm gonna show you will be based on the footage from nighttime only, and also streets without nighttime footage won't be counted. Which means this is the heat map that we do have. There is a lot of people that were saying that this street was packed. I did not find any footage, so this is not gonna be counted. Second part of the Belgradska. Kralja Aleksandra, like all the way up to here, we do not know how many people there is here. I did not find any footage from Tash. Even right here, next to the Pioneer Park, there is simply no footage. And I do not even want to mention all of the streets here in between. Logically, there should be people here, logically, right? Because how the hell are people transitioning through? Even this has no footage. Even this has no footage. This is it. This is the heat map of the night time based on the footage that we do have. And as I already said, this is going to be the minimal number of the people based on the evidence. Okay. People are also saying you can ask AI to assist with the counting. You are 100% correct, but I like when it hurts. It's more interesting like that. Come on, dude. Although there is a website that is extremely powerful that I simply have to show you. The website is mapchecking.com. I will be linking this in the description down below. Extremely cool stuff. I did edit the same surface from the previous video, from the last video that I was counting. You have a map and satellite here. And here you have a slider of people per square meter. My assumption is 3.5, maybe 4. I, I nailed it. In between 65, 70,000, what did I say? 70K max. 
And because of this website, it just confirms that my calculations from the previous video are correct. With that said, if you disagree with this heat map, if you have a knowledge, if you know any of those streets, how did those streets look like, use this website, mapchecking.com. With that said, there is one more thing that I have to talk about. There is a lot of people that are saying that the telecom company claimed that there is 1.6 million attendees. There is no proof of that. There is a rumor on Twitter that somebody said, I googled, I asked AI, there is no evidence, no official statement of anyone. Maybe that was just an ad. If you have a link of the proof, put it on the Discord in the general chat because I, I, I cannot find it. So I do not know how much I would trust this. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, after further investigation, there were people in the parking lot here and even on the other side of the parking lot. It was just a little bit harder to see because of the angle of the camera. Drone shots definitely do confirm that there were people here. Same thing goes with this park. This park is mostly grass. As I already said, that there was rain, so I'm assuming there was uh, mud here. I placed it yellow for the whole park, just so it averages out. Same thing goes with this park right here. Most of it is grass, but there were people standing on the blocks, right? So I did separate those two. And there is one more thing that I forgot to mention in the previous video. Right here, the distance, the minimal distance in between people is not alpha meter. This minimal distance right here that says 0.55 is actually the distance in between the heads of the mannequins. 0.55 is distance from one head to the other, right? So you can remove like 20 centimeters from here, right? Which means that the distance here is 30 centimeters, pretty much. The average distance is 30, 30 35 centimeters, right? So this is the distance on the red areas. On the orange, I place 0.7, that's like half a meter of a distance. On the yellow, I placed one meter, that is 80 centimeters. This is how it looks like. I do not know why am I, why am I lagging. It's like there is 150,000 people spawned currently. This is how the crowd density looks like. And of course, by the way, they're all rotated at the same angle. So yeah. Last but not least, green had like some people, but it's kind of whatever. The green ones uh, were pretty, pretty, pretty empty. It won't change the number too much. So that's, that's why it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is the heat map that we do have. And we got 155,000 people minimum. And by the way, I want to go down just so you see how crowded and dense this is, right? This is insane amount of the people. In the past few days of research and understanding the crowd density and learning about the crowd density and stuff like that, I got extremely humbled with my ignorance of judging the crowd count. On the first, I was thinking that there is a million people just on Slavia on the first look. But then, after a few days, I proved myself that I was wrong. Like, I my brain still, I'm, I'm seeing the number. 155,000. I see the number and my brain simply cannot comprehend that this is 155,000. I cannot, my brain cannot, cannot. If we continue doing this, I'm going to have to move the project in the Unreal Engine because Blender cannot chew that many people. If I have to guess, it was in between 300,000 and 400,000 total through the whole day. That, that's my guess. My humble, genuine estimation. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And now I'm pretty warmed up with these calculations. Tell me, should I start preparing with number crunching the second protest if it happens? Because if you do, I'm going to have to move the project in the Unreal Engine and then we can actually spawn millions and millions. <laughs> then we are going to have no issues. I have to ask right now because there is a lot of preparation, a lot of prep work that has to be done. So as soon as it happens next day, I, I can have the numbers. You know what I mean? But anyways, I hope that you guys learned something new. I definitely did. I had a lot of fun in this project. I'm going to have to focus on video games for now. I hope that service will not distract me too much with the crazy shit. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Eroctic, out.